Hi everyone. The principle of creation among the contents I want to share this time the common base and give and take actions. Uh, let us examine God in terms of the universal prime energy and give and take action. Yes, let's do it. God's universal prime energy directs his own dual characteristics to form a common base for their mutual relationship. Yes, it is. Yes, Heavenly Parent God. Yes, common purpose and mutual benefit. Yes, given the actions and circular motions. Uh, these dual characteristics are uh, then engaged in given take actions. Wow, yes. Uh, this is the foundation for God's own eternal existence. Yes. Look at the bigger diagrams. Wow, yes. God's every parent dual characteristics. The metal, micro, friends, animals, people. This give and take action in God also generates all the forces needed to create and sustain the universe. Yes. Universal Prime Energy empowers entities to establish a common base and then engage in give and take actions. Yes. Universal Prime Energy initiates common base, interdependence, mutual benefit, and shared principles and laws. Yes, look at the pictures as CO2 and O2. Yes. For example, animal and plant life coexist in the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide and the cooperation between pollinators and flowers. Yes. Yes, it's very true. Yeah, universal prime energy and resultant energy. The CO2, O2, yes. The causal energy and resultant energy. Yes, universal prime energy is your causal energy. And the given tax action is the uh, resultant energy. Yes, our human bodies, my body. The human body maintains its life through the give and take action between inhalation and exhalation. Yes, it's very true. We are doing still. Yes, get the circulation system. The human body maintains its life through the give and take action between arteries and veins, waste and food and cells and organs. Yes, our circulation systems. And then on a uh, same knee, <coughs> and the same knee, the human body, my body maintains the, its life, my life, through the give and take action between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous. Yes, nervous systems. And the conscience. The human conscience generates its operating force through give and take action. Yes. Yes, existence, life, and sentience, and conscience. Material existence, organic life, and animal sentience, human conscience. All forces are produced by give and take action. Now, how is the force of conscience generated? Yes, this question. Without exception, anyway, let's see. Like a compass pointing north, our conscience points to the divine truth and goodness. Yes. The conscience can operate only when it forms a common base with some subject partner and engage in give and take action with it. Yes. Without exception, the subject partner, we need some subject partner for uh, conscience actions, functions. Yes, none other than uh, the ultimate subject partner of our conscience is God, our heavenly parent. Yes. 
No one can quell the force of conscience which is powerfully at work, even without one's conscience effort. Yes. Yeah, we, we experience yeah. universal prime energy initiating common base. Yes. If the function of the conscience were absent, God's attempt to guide us would be impossible. However, even a person may be, the force of his conscience with impels him toward a virtuous life is already active within his inner self. Yes, it's very true. Yeah, human fall. The human fall severed our relationship with God. Our ancestors joined in a reciprocal relationship with Satan. Uh, chapter 2 will discuss, will share. Rather than attain oneness with God, they became one with uh, Satan. Universal Prime Energy Initiating Common Base uh, Jesus attained oneness with God through perfect give and take actions. In this sense, Jesus was the only begotten Son of God. Yes, we can say it again. It's very true. When we unite with Jesus in a perfect spiritual relationship, we can recover our original God, heavenly parent given nature. Yes. This is how Jesus serves as a mediator for fallen people. He is our way, truth, and life. John 14, 6, we know. Yes. Christianity is a religion of love. Yes, look at the peoples. Uh, through love and sacrifice, Christianity opened the path to restore harmonious relationships of give and take action between people. Yes, it is true. So whatever you wish that man would do to you, do so to them. For this is the law and the prophet. Matthew 7, 12. Yes, look at the pictures. Wow. Through universal prime energy, elements of every entity, God, nature, individuals, families, and religions, establish a common base and enter into interaction. Yes, look at the pictures. Wow, all the given actions. We all, everything is related, centering on heavenly parent, God. Give and take action is essential to live together in harmony and peace. Common purpose, mutual benefit. Happiness. Yes. We shared about the common base and give and take action. Thank you so much.